Hello. All right, boy, we are in the beach area. Hopefully the cold is gonna go. I'm just arriving to the hostel and this thing looks to be very cool. Ladies and gentlemen, I have to say it, but welcome to the paradise. I can't believe this thing is just a hostel. This thing looks like a, I don't know, a beach resort. You're not gonna guess how much I'm paying for staying here. You guess like it's a hundred dollars, it's like two hundred dollars. I'm paying ten dollars a night for staying here. Ten dollars a night for staying in a place like this. The beach is literally right there. It's just like five minutes walking and beaches right there. Today I don't really have the energy to do crazy stuff around here. I still have this freaking cold. So instead what we're gonna be doing is something very simple. I'm gonna be doing a tour in the cheapest and most beautiful hostel I could find in this area of the country. It's stunning. You guys are gonna love this thing. This is the dorm where I'm staying. I don't know where this thing looks like. This is not real, man. This is not real. This is not just ten dollars. Are they gonna charge me extra once I leave for something, bro? This is too beautiful to be ten dollars. If it is that like that, this will be the best ten dollars, the ones that I have invested and I have get the most value for in my entire life this is my bed i'm gonna be sleeping here this is my batman mask i think it's the first place where i have stayed where they have these for the mosquitoes you can see those little sucky suckies there stuck trying to get in <laughs> These guys here are building more of these houses. These are actually A-frame houses, like all over the place. There is one, two, three, four. And I bet there are more all the way around. And we're gonna start this review in the toilets, because why not? Toilets are nice. This place has a lot of toilets. Well, it actually has like six or seven or eight or who knows how many toilets. But something I have been very impressed. I'm sorry for what I'm gonna show you, but this is the real thing. Is the amount of water that these toilets use. When I press it here, it's just like a small load of water that goes in. It's like it, it's working with pressure and the water is getting in there and it's just like pushing everything that is in there down so it gets to the drain system and everything thing there and this is something that could be very useful for the farm something that I have been really concerned about is how am I gonna make my toilet in the farm I mean I have been in lots of places I have been in lots of different areas where they have different systems for toilets and I am not really convinced yet of the compost toilets it's so much work it's very tedious to be cleaning that every week every month it's I don't know, if I don't really enjoy, if I don't really feel the joy when, when I'm doing something, I get bored, I get frustrated, and I don't want to be frustrated with the toilet in my house. So with the rainwater collection system for my house, I can easily cover that amount of water. But I need to think about the drain system and all that. Well, I don't want to break my head now, so let's keep going. So these are the showers. And as you can see, the bottom is very rustic. There is like no really a floor down there. It's just like gravel and then this little plate of concrete. But what I really love is this part. It's just, it's a straight piece of bamboo. That's a really clever idea for a cover for the head of the shower. I'm keeping that in mind too for my shower.
something that I really have to give these guys a point for is the water filter, it looks so cute. It's not just like in all the places where I have been where the filter is just like a bucket and then it has this little tab where you can collect the water from. But well, here, it's cute. It got, it's got like a fancy look in here. But this is uh, a very important thing and it's that in all the coast areas, in all the Caribbean side and the Pacific side, the water that you get around the coast, it's disgusting. I don't really like that water. But the water from this tap, it tastes not that bad. A very cool thing from this place are these night lamps that they have. It's all built with bamboo and then this thing here with glass and some sticks. And there, there's a bulb. For real guys, I'm taking a lot of notes from this place, a lot of little details of things that I want to do and my jungle things that I want to do back in the farm once I get there. I have an entire list of things from all the countries where I have been in. And here, I'm getting more and more stuff. I'm getting all ready over here because someone invited me, well, the guys from the hostel, they invited me to go and help clean the beach. And I'm getting there. Let's go clean the beach. I'm gonna pour some bleach to clean the beach. Oh, that's actually a good rhyme. So bro, this is Chela's squad to go I, clean I, the beach. Yeah. Besides cleaning the beach, this was also an excuse for us to come and watch the sunset. Oh, it's happening right there! It's just so cool and beautiful! I gotta say that this is one of the best sunsets I have ever seen, so this beach gets a credit for that. I think I'm growing up. Everyone else is there. They are dancing, they are drinking, they are doing a lot of crazy stuff there. They're having a lot of fun. And I'm up here, just working, drinking my ginger tea. And I don't feel the need of going there to check my blood. Am I getting older? Does, does that have, like usually happens once you're getting older? Please someone let me know. It is 5 a.m. I'm here, I'm next to the beach. This beach is in the Pacific coast and I'm here because I'm ready to present two of the most beautiful nature spectacles ever. One of them is the sunrise that is about to happen over there and the other one The other one is to watch baby turtles go in the water. Buying and selling eggs from turtles here in Guatemala is actually legal. People can do that. They don't have, they don't go to jail, anything like that. So what the people have been doing for a few years, like these guys who are over there, is that they buy the eggs from the people who collect the eggs from the beach. So they will pay maybe like one quetzal per each egg, that will be like 15 cents per egg and then they put them in some nests that they specially created they wait until the eggs hatch and then they collect the turtles every single morning they put it in a little bucket and they bring it to the sand near to the beach where they just free them to go into the water so in a few years in seven years one of every thousand turtles will make it will survive and come back to hatch to put eggs in the same beach where he was released. He's ready to go swimming. Go. <laughs> yeah, he really is ready. 
The only reason why we are able to touch these little turtles is because we wash our hands with sand before touching them. If you touch them straight away with your hands like that, they will easily die because your hands could have like some chemicals, let's say some sunscreen, perfume, all that can affect them and then they won't make it to survive, not at least a day in the oceans. And as always, my favorite part, the food. They have a little restaurant. It's not that little, it's pretty big. There's a lot of people here. Kitchen and everything. They have very good meals. I have tried almost everything now. This has been my favorite one so far. It's called a veggie bowl. It's chia seeds. Uh, it's homemade bread and a lot of veggies and it's delicious but hold on because there is so much more here video games tv to watch movies there is also this very cute very nice uh living area people can come here just to chill relax read a book just to hang out and there are also some yoga pads that i love i don't own any kind of yoga pad back home i don't know how to do yoga but this is one of the things that i really want to learn and like i have seen people doing it here and i'm like I want to try that. It looks very good. I think it's also very good for health, stretching your body. It's very good. So I need to keep practicing and learning about yoga. Now there is also a big pool in this area. It's like a giant pool that I have here. Everyone can use it, even if you're paying the cheapest price as me, you can use this pool. The thing is that as I have a cold, I'm not sure if I can get in there. I'm gonna think about it. The most probable thing is that I'm gonna end just getting into the pool. And last but not least is this cool hanging area that they have around here. It's built for a lot of people, maybe for 20 people to chill around. It has all the pillows, it has all the things that you could meet just to chill, have a great time. I think this town is designed for that vibe, for the people to come and relax, just to have a great time. Like for me it was very good. But I need to leave now, uh, my shuttle is coming in a few minutes, like in 10 minutes, and then I will go to a better place.